Hey guys, we're back with Pokemon Silver, and I am Slammy, and we're gonna finish off this region over here. Let me just see who... Whoa. Doesn't seem to be lagging as much in this video. Um, okay, yeah, we'll leave that one okay. Uh, bleh. Sandy. I'm going to read your thoughts. Okay. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Uh, why? Whoa! Why does he look stoned? That guy's. That guy looks like he's smoking serious ganja. He's probably gonna get a bell sprout and. Not even. Oh, this is fucking annoying. I think all he uses is flash, actually. Come on, Sanju. Just knock him out, please. Thank God. Ugh, another Abra. God. That is gonna get on my nerves really quick, isn't it? Okay, now we're gonna get something different. We're getting a Kadabra. And this thing's gonna get shit on, too. Honestly, Kadabra's a good Pokemon. Well, Al Alakazam. I would use him, but... Ugh, I, I don't know how to trade and get him in this game. What the hell does Kinesis do again? I forgot. Oh. Brings down my owl. Oh, that's for That's fucking stupid. I don't like that. Stop... Lowering my accuracy, asshole. Asshole, would you actually attack me? I mean, I appreciate that at least. I don't want to see Ben Spoons. I'm just going to switch Pokemon and screw you over. I mean, he does realize I have four other Pokemon, right? I mean, three other Pokemon, right? Okay, let's just get this over with. Sandshrew can't see shit. Good job. Now I'm gonna peck the shit out of you. And you're gonna die. Thank you for dying. <sighs> Psychic Mark. Really, all he did was lower my accuracy the whole battle, and I still killed all of his Pokemon. Basically, with one Pokemon. Oh god, you... Oh, whoa, I forgot this guy was all the way back. Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Actually, I really like- this guy's got a cool team later on, I don't know. I kind of like the Tangela Yanma thing. Or he does get a Yanma, eventually. And I'm gonna have to switch out Sandy, unfortunately. Sandy, we know how he does against- Or she- d we know how she does against, uh- Grass types, that oddish shit all over him in his first battle, I think. I, was that his first battle? No, no, no. Second battle. Uh, I, don't know, I feel tired now. I don't know why. I walked back to Taco Bell so I can get more soda. Because I live right around the corner from it. Whoa. Why is it glitching out? Oh, come on. Let's get this over with. I was thinking about using Tangela, too, if I didn't choose Chikorita. Because I was thinking of, like, unique teams I could do. But ultimately, I don't need a Tangela. And, uh, yeah. I was thinking about using Skimori instead of MVP, but I don't want to wait so long for a, uh, a flying type. Because that's going to get really annoying. Oh, look! It's a tree again! Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. So yeah guys, as you can see, when I was like, oh let's get out of Violet Oh that's right, I didn't take the map. Uh we basically made a big fucking circle. That's basically what we did. So I'm gonna meet you guys back in Goldenrod because we need all the trainers up here. And yeah, I'll meet you back there.
Okay, guys, we're back, and I decided to meet you guys at the Name Raider's house. And what have I decided to name him? I have decided to name him. Oh, whoa. Naked. Naked. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything better, to be honest with you. I wish I could have, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't want to talk to you again! I didn't want to talk to you! Okay. Now I'm gonna go heal up. What? Guys, we're back, and here we are at the gym. Let's see what type of Pokemon she has. Hopefully something we have powerful against. Pokemon gym leader, Whitney. The incredibly pretty... Oh, wow, that's very, uh very convenient. This whole gym is shaped like a Clefairy, by the way. Yo, champ in the making. This gym is home to normal type. Okay, there we go. Normal type Pokemon. Fighting type Pokemon. Does it look like we have any fighting type Pokemon? Well, we don't. So, we're going to teach. Wait a minute. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to teach anybody anything till the final battle. Um, let's just get the show on the road. I gotta look something up. I want to put Roll out on one of my Pokemon, but I wanted to use Sandshrew, but then that'd be kind of stupid if he learns it later on, so I just want to make sure that he doesn't learn it later on. So that way I'm not wasting my time. Oh my god. Okay, this girl just has Sentrits, I swear to god. So I'm gonna speed up this battle, okay? Oops! It's over. That sounds like me. Whoopsie daisies, it's over? Okay, I'm sorry guys, but she just had centrets. I'm not showing fucking like five centrets. I actually remember her having like six. That's why I sped it up. But yeah, there's just a few in this gym. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Whoa! This is a children's game? <laughs> Don't be talking about taking me down. First of all, I'm a girl. Second of all, uh, I pressed the space bar again, didn't I? Wow. What's up with everyone smoking ganja in this game? Jesus Christ, look at that meowth. First she's talking about taking me down. And then, you just gotta love how, like, in the 90s, that kind of dialogue in a game, in a children's game, would fly. But now it's like, if, if you say anything remotely suggestive, I mean, I know that wasn't meant to be taken in a suggestive way, but if you say anything even that might even sound suggestive, they're like, um, the FCC are like, no, or is it the FCC? I don't know, but, um, yeah, like, Nintendo of America's like, nope, kid has that. Kid have kids, um, reveal the sex or they'll grow up all, uh, they'll grow up all freaking corrupted and into rebels and they're not gonna cut their hair. Oh, you just gotta love people. Anyway. Uh, meow. I was thinking about using him too. I don't know. I, I like a lot of the Pokemon in this game. Oh, shit. God damn it. We're gonna heal up after this battle, just so you guys know. I'm just gonna run to the Pokemon Center very quick after this battle. Now, just for being an asshole, you know what we're gonna be? We're gonna be dickwads. Oh, god damn it. That is the first time that's missed all LP. Don't worry, don't worry. Persistence. Persistence. I don't know why, but I always feel like Noctowl always hits with that. I don't know if it's just me. But what every single Noctowl I've ever had has always hit perfectly with that. Like, all the time. Like, very rarely it misses. You know what I mean? But yeah, come on, come on. Heck. <sighs> Why am I yawning? I did smoke a cigarette. I smoked a cigarette like an hour ago. When I was a Vicky, I had a cigarette. And now, I'm t yawning. I usually yawn right after I have one. Okay guys, I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center really quick. Guys, now we are officially back. Because I forgot to put my mic back on my chest. So... Oh. I hate when they just like jump out of nowhere. 
like she wasn't even she just scrolled onto the screen and she's like ah you come over here uh last i was i thought that said caterpie for a second i'm like last caterpie what well that's a pretty interesting name to name your child okay let's knock this girl the fuck out come on sandy come on sandy Okay, really? Seriously, does it have to... Sandy just always get what gets like... The worst things happening to her. I mean, she gets paralyzed, poisoned, burned. It's only... She's only been around for like two episodes. Why is she having so many bad things happen to her? Come on! Come on, don't do this to the sand durable... I always thought that San Sanchu looked really cool, actually. He's really cute. But I like him. He's cute and he's powerful. And he stands like a gerbil, too. Look at him. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go level him off because I want this bitch. Um, yeah, Sanchu leveled up. He's level 20. But, yeah, she is 21. Level 21. And now... We have the last trainer fight before. You know, I'm actually gonna st stuff the. Uh, I'm stuffing the trainer. Whoa. I'm stuffing the trainer fight in this video, I've decided. Because I thought I was recording for like 30 minutes. But apparently I've only been recording for like 16, and there's a lot of cuts. So I'm gonna. Just to make this go on a little bit longer, I am going to do the dreadful, dreadful fight in this episode. I'm not looking for- Oh, you fucking serious. You die now. You die. Fuck you. Fuck your mom. Fuck that wiggly tuft my brother has. Just fuck off. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I know, you have like six Jigglypuffs. We get it. But um, in this recording, I am going to pause it for a while. Only because uh, I just want to look up what Sandshrew words. Because... I don't know. Because we're going to need some walls. And, yeah... I'm going to, I don't know, I have a strategy for the next fight, because I honestly, I think that's what you need is a strategy. Otherwise, it gets really annoying. Honestly, like, the Pokemon she has is going to make you want to jump off, jump off the fucking Empire State Building. I'm not playing around. It is that bad. I mean, I don't remember, I don't know if, I might have talked about this before, but I don't know if in Heart Gold, Soul Silver they made that battle easier. But this battle, when I was a kid, was freaking unforgiving. It took me a while to get past her. Like, I remember the first time I fought her, I wanted to fucking cry. Because I hated that fucking Pokemon. She and you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are going to see it in just a few minutes. In like a minute or two. You guys are going to see it, so... Are you fucking serious? Ugh. Come on. Die already. No! I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with this shit. MVP! Show her what you're made of. Can't Jigglypuffs come in mail too? I thought, um. I, th I remember when they made, like, all Pokemon. Um, uh, like, Nidda Queens can only be female and stuff like that. I It wasn't Jigglypuff only. Jigglypuff can be female, right? I think, and I'm just talking about gold and silver. I think that's what it was. Don't really remember. Is that chick holding a Master Ball? It's purple. It looks like a Master Ball. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go heal up because this fight is relentless. I'll be right back. Let's do this. Let's face the cow. And no, I'm not talking about Whitney, but I might as well be talking about her. 
Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Oh wow, you have such a unique personality. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Oh god, I know. I know your hell. In my opinion, this is the worst trainer fight. Uh, this is probably one of the worst fights in the game. <laughs> Honestly. This fight can be so aggravating. Honestly. But, I guess, I guess it's not that bad. Okay, so this is just the Clefairy. It's really not too dangerous. I mean, most it'll do is probably put you to sleep or do that. Honestly, like... Um, I might be trying to record this a couple of times. I don't know how, when I'm gonna get a good take of this battle. Okay, alright, that's fair. Okay. Now! That's not the- that wasn't what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Um, we have this asshole. Okay. Now. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that. Poison it. I would just put him, her to sleep. But the thing is, I don't want to... I don't want her to just wake up and then just undo my work. You know what I mean? Okay. So now that that's set up, we're going to send out... Sandy. And like I said, we're playing this defensively. You're playing this game defensively. Now the thing about Miltink, Miltink is actually a very good Pokemon. It has a lot of HP, it's fast, it is a tank. And I've been kicking around the idea of picking one up myself, but I don't think I want to wear it around. Yes, um, I forgot to mention, I taught, now I'm going to be using Dig and here's why. Um, I taught Sandshrew, as you can see, I taught him Roll Out as well, which I was thinking I was going to use his battle, but I think Dig would be a lot better, because Roll Out is one of those moves where it's weak the first turn, but if it keeps hitting you consecutively, it gets extremely powerful extremely quickly, and it can be devastating. Ugh, I did not like that, what I just saw. See, and it knows that move too, and it's going to make you want to fucking die, honestly. But thankfully, it's not like recover. But yeah, this mill tank can be broken. I mean, you know, I'm not even going to finish the sentence I was just going to say, because I'm just going to jinx myself. But, oh, But yeah, I mean, usually I get shit on in this fight, but that's just because I go offensively. Actually, I feel like playing through it now, you really should be playing this game defensively. Or at least this battle. Because this battle, if I didn't put up that reflect, Sancho would have been dead. Even Sancho. He would have been dead. Because it's crazy. This Pokemon right now, this is honestly one of the <laughs> This is not what I was looking forward to the whole game. I'm like, oh god, I don't even care about the final battle. I just don't want to go up against this thing. Again, this thing is hellacious. I'm just going to wait till that... The HP's got a- what is it, only 5 HP on that thing? Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, come on, let's get rid of this cow. Yeah, Miltank, as stupid as it looks, it is a really good Pokemon. And I honestly- I would recommend picking one up. Oh shit. Oh, okay. This is why I'm glad I picked up a Sandshrew. This is really why I wanted a Sandshrew. This battle would be going completely differently. Is it? God damn it. If it wasn't for Sandshrew, I would be tanking right now. I would probably be doing 8,000 save states and... Okay, you can't do this forever. I don't care what, what Whitney thinks. She cannot use Milk Drink forever because Milk Drink only has like a few HP. How many times has she been doing this? This is very aggravating. <laughs> See, not only does it have a lot of HP and a lot of defense, it is fucking annoying. And yes, I am just digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole. 
over and over again. But anything to avoid that rollout from hitting me, like, 18 fucking times, is good. Oh, the fuck? Why does she keep using that? Okay, really? Like, you? it does not have that much fucking HP. If I picked that one, that thing up, it would only have, like, 5 HP. She's definitely used that over 5 times, so she really needs to stop doing that. It's really fucking aggravating. Oh, uh, come on. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's... I think we need to use a different strategy, honestly. Yeah, you get hurt by your poison, okay. <laughs> yeah, you see, it honestly, with Sandshrew's already broken defense, and with, uh, oh yeah! With his broken defense, especially with the, um, the defense curl, it is excellent. It is a fantastic wall, and I forget, does he evolve next level or level 28? Can't remember. Yeah, Whitney's gonna start crying like a little bitch. Wah! Stivel, kick, you meanie. And she's not gonna give you anything until you talk to this person. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. Oh yeah, I am such a bad person. Poor her for getting her ass handed to her. Honestly, I am very proud of myself. That battle, I've, I've seen other Let's Plays. I actually did pretty damn well in that battle. I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but holy shit, I did really good in that battle. Took a while, but... We did it. Boost your Pokemon speed. Oh, you can have this too. What is this? TM45. Um, put the TM45 in the TM pocket. It's a tract. Oh, I love that move. Oh, I might teach that to one of my Pokemon, actually. I might just do that. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Um, in the next episode, we will get the fuck out of this area. And we will move on to the next, um, the next, what do you call it? And we will start working towards getting our next team member. So, I am Project Slimy, and I love you guys. Peace out.